Now that we know the derivatives of the six trig functions, we can combine them with other types of functions, powers and exponential functions. And if we combine them using arithmetic, addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, we've got rules for evaluating the derivative. So that's what a lot of the homework is going to have you do. I just want to work through this example together. Notice here, y is a product of three things. So, and I can't simplify the multiplication because those three things are three different types of functions. I've got a power function, an exponential function, and a trig function. And we're being asked to find the derivative. Well, I just need to strategize here because the product rule tells me how to take the derivative of a product of two things. Here I've got three. Now I've got two, one of which is itself a product. So essentially, I'm going to be using product rule inside of product rule. Okay, so let's try that. Now, if you want to pause the video and work this out and then check your answer at the end, that's fine. If you want to stay tuned and work through it together, that's fine. I'll leave that up to you. All right, using product rule for this first piece, I would say, okay, it's the derivative of x squared times e to the x sine x plus the first factor of x squared times the derivative of e to the x sine x. <laughs> now, when I come back to evaluate this derivative, I'm going to be using product rule a second time. All right, coming here, the derivative of x squared, I can evaluate that just using power rule. That's 2x, and then that's multiplied by e to the x sine x plus x squared brackets. I'm going to be multiplying that by this whole thing. I know product rule is going to give me a sum of two terms. Make sure you've got brackets or parentheses so that both terms are getting multiplied by the x squared. I'm just going to write out product rule. So we'll have the derivative of e to the x times sine x plus e to the x times the derivative of sine x. And now I need to go back and evaluate because I've still got some d by dx's. This first part we're really done with. I'm just copying that. 2x e to the x sine x plus x squared brackets. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x and that's times sine x. Plus e to the x gets multiplied by the derivative of sine x which I now know is cosine of x. At this point, I've evaluated all of the derivatives. Now, if I wanted to, I could distribute the multiplication by x squared. Once I did that, I might notice there's an e to the x in each piece, and I might factor that out. There are a number of ways that I could simplify this. If we were just asked to find the derivative, I'm inclined to stop. If I were going to find the second derivative or do something with this, I would let what I needed to do next motivate me for what was going to put it in the simplest form for that upcoming task.